give me a second I I need to get my story straight my friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State my lover she's waiting for me just across the bar my seat's been taken by some sunglasses asking about a scar I know I gave it to you months ago Come on, sweet. I know you're trying to forget but between the drinks and subtle things the holes in my apologies you know I'm trying hard to take it back and if by the time yes the bar closes and you feel like falling down I'll carry good girl good girl hello gorgeous quite a common situation with a lot of dogs which is a dog's got two toys in front of her doesn't want to give either one of them up um, and when you go to get one of them she'll have that one and then she'll have this one and then she'll have this one and then she'll have this one okay so how do you deal with that i just want to uh, show a really quick way to deal with it which is that two pips of a whistle have been paired with the deployment of a toy right i haven't got a ball in there i haven't got a ball in my hand and the other one's holding the camera so i haven't got a ball in that hand so i'm not luring her but I'm just going to show you the response to the two pips of a whistle. Classical conditioning, basically, and how it can help you in things like this, getting your toys off your dog. Cass. Good. Done. Good girl. Okay. Two pips means that a boy, ball's about to become live, a ball's about to be delivered, and it's going to be delivered from me. So when she hears the pip, she doesn't give a toss whether she can see a ball or not. She's up and away, ready for it. Leaving me the two toys to play with for and I'll show you again on single toy as I move in for it there we go ready watch your response there we go okay easy